This is Dr. Cal Shipley answering the question, what is a bulging disc and why is it significant? As an example today, we're going to take a look at a bulging intervertebral disc between the fourth and fifth lumbar vertebra in the low back. Taking a look first at the anatomy, we see the fourth and fifth lumbar vertebra, or L4 and L5 as they're known for short, and the first sacral vertebra, or S1 and then the L4-5 disc sitting between the 4th and 5th lumbar vertebra and the L5-S1 disc sitting between the 5th lumbar and 1st sacral vertebra. The intervertebral discs are made of a firm but flexible material that act as shock absorbers between the spinal vertebra. Situated as they are at the bottom of the spine, the L4, L5, and S1 vertebra and their accompanying discs bear considerable stress as a result of the weight and movement of the upper body, and as a result, have a greater frequency of injury and degenerative change than their counterparts higher up in the spine, the exception to this rule being the vertebra of the neck. Finally, we see the spinal nerve roots exiting to the left and right between the vertebra. Rotating to a view from above of L5, the anatomical relationships of all these structures become a little more readily apparent. The spinal cord itself ends at the level of the second lumbar vertebra, giving off multiple branches which become the nerve roots to the remaining lumbar and sacral vertebral segments. These lower nerve roots, when bundled together in the spinal canal, are known as the cauda equina. The left and right spinal nerve roots branch off of the cauda equina and the intervertebral disc sits on top of the vertebra and therefore between the L5 and L4 vertebrae. Degeneration of the disc with age or injury due to trauma may cause the disc to bulge. Depending on the severity and direction of the bulge, the spinal nerve roots or the nerves of the cauda equina may be compressed, as in this example resulting in numbness, pain, or weakness in the tissues and muscles supplied by the compressed nerves. For information on the treatment of bulging discs, please see my animation entitled Lumbar Discectomy and Fusion.